The Bloodthorn attacked the town and took control of the place. We've been sent to keep an eye on things, but we're not to engage the enemy. Still, something about all this bothers me. I just can't put my finger on it. Something's definitely not right in the village. Whatever the Bloodthorn are up to, it's taking a lot of effort. They're moving around a lot, and we've seen boats sailing into and away from the docks. Maybe the Red Rook bandit we caught knows more. He says his name's Tamian Selen. We caught him trying to sneak past us into the village. Dame Clarique's convinced he's up to no good, but I'm not so sure. Maybe you could talk to him. Please. They won't listen to me. It's true that I used to run with the Red Rooks, but I quit. I hate all the chaos they're causing in Glenumbra. Now I just want to help save my town. But the guards don't believe me. The guards caught me sneaking around. They don't believe I'm trying to save the village. The Bloodthorn are gathering the villagers at the docks for sacrifice. They kill them and raise them as zombies. I don't want my friends to end up like that. My father's a mage. His signature spell is a spell of hiding that I know can protect the villagers. If you can reach our house and prepare the spell, I can rescue the villagers and meet you there. You just need to convince Dame Clarique to free me. I don't know where he is. He was in the village before the attack, and I fear the worst. My father and I, well, we didn't always get along. That's why I joined the Red Rooks in the first place. I just hope he's still alive. It's called Marion's White Mask. My father loves to name his spells after himself. When cast on a building, the spell cloaks everyone inside in a shroud of misdirection. It makes anyone who looks see something other than what's really there. My father used to scare me with the spell. He'd cast it on his workshop and make himself look like a hooded specter in a white mask. We argued about it. A lot. I never found it as funny as he did. As if the problems in Camlorn weren't enough, we have cultists and bandits harrying our flanks. I've been assigned to keep an eye on the situation here, and my vigilance paid off. We captured one of those Red Rook bandits. You talked to him, didn't you? Why exactly do you trust this bandit? I'm not even convinced there are any villagers left alive in there to save. We haven't seen anyone but the cultists. That's not going to happen. If you want to help, Go to the docks and see what's happening. I'd appreciate any information you can bring us. I wish I could send a force in there and clear the cultists out, but Camlorn might call us back at any time.
cast my spell. The masking ritual. But why? My son sent you here? Where is he? Wait, there's no time for that. We must act quickly. The Bloodthorn must be stopped. The Bloodthorn have been draining my essence to fuel their necromantic rituals. They're transporting the animated dead from the docks. They've sent zombies as far north as Kath Bedro, and Daggerfall is next. I'm imprisoned in a pocket plane of oblivion. I think I can use the magic I still possess to collapse the plane and end the ritual. But in case I fail, you need to burn the Bloodthorn's boats. Don't let any more zombies leave the village. Dame Clarique didn't expect you to go charging in here. She cut me free and told me to follow you. I heard you talking to my father. I hope you're not going to pursue his foolish plan. It's too dangerous. Oh, it'll work, but it's idiotic. As usual, my father only takes into account the big picture. He's going to collapse his prison. I'm not an expert in pocket planes, but that doesn't sound healthy. He's going to kill himself to stop the ritual. I can't let that happen. I'm going after him. I understand. This is my battle to fight. Go. Stop the Bloodthorn. I'll free my father and bring him back here. Meet me here after you destroy the Bloodthorn boats. I'd never escape. used his spell, the one he always used to scare me with, to slip in unnoticed and rescue him. As we made our escape, we were overrun by Bainkin. Father cast some kind of spell and I blacked out. When I woke up, I was here and he was... there. I failed him, but you didn't. You stopped the Bloodthorn cultists, just like he wanted. I want to bury my father. Could you speak to Dame Clarique for me? I need a moment alone. Bloodthorn cultists made a mad dash up the road. We cut down a number of them. They clearly weren't expecting to run into us. I assume you had something to do with that? So I see. Sent the cultists right into our waiting blades. Good job! You were right about that bandit. He really came through for us. We'll deal with the remaining cultists and their zombies. Gandalf? Batman? Ow! You landed on my back, man. I'm Batman. No, I didn't say... Hey! Yeah. Shell down. Too risky to search up there. Doesn't look stable. 